The other big initiative we've had this year is we've begun the unification of all the HyperWorks products into a common user experience. It began some years ago with the launch of the Inspire product, but uh, even when we developed that product, we had all the products in mind. So as we've worked through the last few years, we've been developing that same user experience now for SimLab, the virtual wind tunnel, HyperExtrude, and now finally we're taking on HyperMesh itself. It's really quite simple to use now. We've gone to the ribbon structure that we use inside of Inspire. Uh, we've made working with the model much more direct uh, through the graphics. Uh, we don't rely on panels at all to do most of your work. We use simple guide bars and micro dialogues so that you can uh, work with your graphics directly on screen and lots of graphical manipulation as well. And it's not so much that it's an exotic new user interface. Uh, quite the opposite, it's really the kinds of things you'd expect out of modern software, simple cut, copy, paste, right-click menus, and so forth, with really good quality graphics. Uh, it has a fully configurable menu system, so you can customize the ribbons to your own needs. There's no panels that are required, but you can still bring the panels up. So if you want to work in the old way, we haven't taken anything away, which is a really important point, because this new user interface is built on top of the existing HyperMesh core architecture, all the old macros, menu systems, and automations that people have developed over the years will work with no modifications in the future. And we'll continue to support those as we go forward. People are going to find it very light, uh, very unencumbering, and very few mouse clicks to get their jobs done. We're really excited.